Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward, where in tonight's video, I'll be sharing my thoughts and theories with you guys about what I think about the potential and possibility for a sequel to the hit horror film that dropped earlier this year, before everything went to hell, or at least temporarily, uh, The Invisible Man, which was awesome. I saw it, and I really, really enjoyed it. It was a solid horror movie, and I certainly hope this is the new direction and tone that Universal takes with their other library of classic monster characters. Now, they have several other monster films in various stages of development, and a lot of them are probably, you know, going to be stuck in development hell for a while, along with a lot of other movies and TV shows, unfortunately, due to Due to the global pandemic, many productions were forced to shut down or halt production. Hopefully they'll be able to resume in a few months, you know, fingers crossed, but time will tell, you know, so we'll see. But um, anyway, even before the pandemic uh, occurred or became, you know, what it is now, all these movies were in different stages of development. So I feel like Universal probably wants to explore other monster characters before giving us a direct sequel to The Invisible Man. Right now we've got in development a Renfield movie. Uh, Renfield is the creepy servant, uh, the guy who eats rats and bugs. He's the right hand of Dracula. A Renfield movie from the director who gave us Rocket Man uh, last year. We've also got an Invisible Woman movie that will star and be directed by Elizabeth Banks. Uh, apparently this movie will have absolutely nothing to do with the Invisible Man movie we got. That very well could change, however I wouldn't uh, count on it if I were you, because Universal has made it very clear they're done with the interconnected universe stuff. As cool as it would be to see all these monsters share the big screen in some way, I'm just not sure how they could do it or pull it off. Could we still get it someday? Possibly, maybe way, way, way down the line if they've got a good idea of how to do it. But for now, they're just going to keep giving us good standalone monsters movies which I'm just fine with. We've also got a film that's dubbed Dark Army from filmmaker Paul Feig which will apparently feature original characters he's written and created along with some original classic monsters. Not quite sure how that's going to look or what it'll be about but I'm intrigued and excited. We've also got James Wan producing a monster movie that sounds like it is a soft remake or at least is heavily inspired by the Frankenstein monster and story so that'll be fun to see. Uh, and then of course more recently Blumhouse announced they hired a female director, the woman who directed uh, Jennifer's Body, to direct a Dracula film for Blumhouse slash Universal. So that's very, very exciting. So those are all the films that we've got in various stages of development right now. You'll notice that the a sequel to The Invisible Man is not among them. Could we get a sequel to The Invisible Man someday down the line? Yeah. I'd say so. You know, the movie was made on a relatively small budget, made a ton of money at the box office, was a big hit with critics and fans, and I think Universal and Blumhouse are pretty damn happy with how it turned out, so I'm sure a sequel is in the works, but they won't announce or officially confirm anything until either this crisis has passed or, you know, whenever they feel like it. And the way they ended the film... And of course, spoiler alert, by the way, I'm about to discuss the ending of The Invisible Man, which is pretty climactic. So if you have not seen The Invisible Man, don't keep watching or listening as I will be discussing big spoilers. Okay, so for those of us who have seen the movie, we know what happens. Cecilia, played by the awesome Elizabeth Moss, manages earlier in the film to steal an invisible suit by her sadistic ex-boyfriend who created one for himself and, had, and was tormenting her throughout most of the film. She puts one on after excusing herself from a reconciliation dinner that they're having where he's trying to get back into her life. But obviously she's learned by this point at this point of the film towards the end to see through his bullshit, excuses herself, throws on the invisible suit. And in an awesome shot, we get him creepily staring at the camera like this as he slowly eats his dinner. And all of a sudden his hand holding his steak knife goes up like this. And he slits his own throat. And based on the look on his face, you know that he's not the one doing it. It's obviously Cecilia wearing the invisible suit, but making it look like he's committing suicide. And then knowing that he's got home surveillance in his house, she is able to come back, acting all distraught and surprised when she sees him 
writhing on the floor. She calls 911, all hysterical and sad. Oh, my boyfriend just committed suicide. Please send help. And there's an awesome shot in the movie where she's all like, <laughs> hangs up the phone. And her demeanor completely changes where she's like, surprise, as he's just bleeding out on the floor looking mad as hell. So the Invisible Man died at the end of the film. Or at least the guy who created the invisible suit. Now at the end of the film, we see her walk away from his house, reunite with her cop friend. And after they agree to tell everyone that he committed suicide subtly, we see in her bag that she's got, a, she's got the suit that she used to kill him. And so it is entirely possible that we could see somebody else become the Invisible Man in a sequel film. I really hope they don't do a thing where they turn her into the next villain, where she becomes the Invisible Woman after going crazy or something. I feel like that would not be doing justice to her character, who had such a great arc throughout the Invisible Man. I see a scenario where somebody learns that she's got the suit, steals it from her, puts it on, and then goes on their own murderous rampage, and and she, because she's had experience with dealing with invisible monsters before, she has to stop them. And it could be another guy, so you could call it the Invisible Man, or maybe it's a woman who goes nuts and throws on the suit, calling it the Invisible Woman. They probably won't do that, though, so they don't confuse people with Elizabeth Banks' eventual Invisible Woman film, which, like I said earlier, is supposed to have nothing to do with this movie. However, considering how successful and well-received the Invisible Man was, that could change, and they could be connected. And I know they said they weren't going to do any interconnected universe stuff, but that could change with it, with the exception of these two characters. Because if you were to have the Invisible Man and Invisible Woman meet or cross paths, that would kind of make sense since they have the similar powers or they're almost like the same character. But that's just pure speculation on my part. We don't know what Universal has planned for the long-term future. All we do know is the various films I mentioned earlier. And Invisible Man sequel was unfortunately not on that list. I think we could eventually get a sequel to this movie. It did well enough with fans and critics alike. And I think, you know, they're open to doing a sequel. But I think Universal's priorities is let's give our other monster characters their own standalone movies first before we give any of them sequels or any kind of follow-up. So I think we're going to see all of these characters' movies come to life first. And then further down the line, hopefully we'll get an Invisible Man sequel and hopefully Leigh Whannell will write and direct it like he did with this one and Elizabeth Moss will return as the main character to uh, kick some invisible ass once again. So I really hope we get Invisible Man sequel. Obviously it's not going to be anytime soon due to recent circumstances and the ongoing global pandemic and I'm not sure when we'll get any of these movies. Again they were all in various stages of development even before the pandemic so who knows what kind of progress or how far they've come along in terms of work work or development but uh we'll see you know time will tell so what did you what do you guys think do you want to see a sequel to the invisible man do you want to see the same director return do you want to see elizabeth moss uh come back as the main character i want to hear your thoughts and your opinions down below in the comments section thank you so much for watching i hope you're staying safe out there the invisible man is available for home rental via streaming devices and will soon be available on blu-ray and dvd later this month have an awesome rest of your night guys thanks again for watching and bearing with me and of course until next time may the force be with you